Following a life-changing car accident in 2011, teenager Kelly Green was left registered blind. Not to be disheartened by her change in circumstances, 16-year-old Kelly is now facing new challenges with the same positive attitude and courage she always had, as well as having recently organised the Eckington's Got Talent charity event to raise money for the Guide Dog charity, which she will now be dependent on over the rest of her life. Uh, yeah, we're just a, a normal family. Lived in Eckington for about 12 years, haven't we now? Um, Kelly went to school as a normal school kid, normal aspirations, hoping for about eight GCSEs, was it, Kelly? Yeah, eight, I think eight, yeah. Something on those lines, and then, uh, then it all changed. It was actually the 10th of October last year, in 2011. Well, basically, we, we've been. I picked Kelly up from a friend's house, wasn't it, Kelly? Yeah. Um, we were just travelling back along Gleadless Road, and um, we don't really know what happened. It there was very wet, and there were a lot of leaves, and we don't know if we slipped on the leaves or yeah. what happened. Basically, we basically hit a large um, traffic island in the middle of the road. You know, one of those where they cross halfway, and apparently, according to the witnesses, it the car flipped up in the air. And came back down again, and that was it. Basically, it ended up on its side, and I managed to scramble out. And Kelly was stuck in with a seatbelt, weren't you? Yeah. So we waited, for, kind of waited. Lots of people came round and to help, and uh, waited for the ambulance men to get you out properly. You know, and that was it. And you were off to hospital, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, Kelly can't see it at all out of her right eye anymore. Um, she's actually got a cover on on her right eye at the moment, haven't you? Look, yeah. it's like a like a shell. You know, it's just make it look a bit better. Um, her left eye, she's seeing some light out of it, aren't you? Yeah. Like you, you can, yeah. It depends on the weather and you know bright days and things like that. You see some daylight and you see some colours, but you obviously can't see as normal. So. Well, I've just got to it's school and everything. It's different. Because I'm not in my normal lessons anymore. I know the majority of my friends have left, but I'm like doing sixth form with a few of them. And I'm doing, I said, and I've still got them, and I'm learning braille and touch typing, mobility and stuff. Can you tell us a bit about Eckington's Got Talent now and uh, who put that together? Yeah, well, it was, um, it was a, a plan we kind of came across to help get some money back for the guide dogs. Um, I don't know if you know, but Kelly is actually going for a guide dog, but you can't, you can't fund a guide dog. You know, it's a charity-based thing, and you can't buy a guide dog no matter how much money you've got. It, you know, it has to go through proper channels, and we just wanted to give something back, basically, because it costs a lot of money to run, to keep a guide dog going through its life. Just going to mention Nick Whitehead, who, organized, who helped to organise it and sponsored a lot of the things, and he actually doubled our money on the night. Whatever he, he said, whatever we made, he'd double it. So I thought that was fantastic. And um, we'd like to thank Jill Parker as well because she did a lot of the organisation. I think she's very good at that kind of thing. It's something we couldn't have done on our own. So I just thought they were all very good, weren't they, Kelly? Mm. On the night, it was a full house, and I believe it holds about 200 people. So it's a really good turnout especially as they're all paying customers and you know it wasn't a free thing um, we did the raffles and various things and I think we raised was it £2,402 I think yeah. it was and a few pennies so I think that's fantastic on the night and uh, it'll all go straight to, straight to the guide dogs and I hope it'll help somebody along the way somewhere well basically a guide dog can only work for about seven years and then it has to be retired so through a uh, a normal period of life you'll end up with at least seven guide dogs if things don't improve. And you've got to have that special training, haven't you? To what I did. You have to, before you get a guide dog, you have to do like a special training, like someone comes out to you and like they give you the harness what the dog would be wearing. And then you're gonna, he tells you like how to stand, make him stand at a road and sit and stuff and how to make him walk again. And uh, the, teach you like how to follow it and so they trust you 
sort of thing. And it's just to see if you get on with your guide dog and to see how fast you walk and stuff so they can train one up for you. Kelly is not only inspirational in getting the community together to put on Eckington's Got Talent, but the event also raised a staggering £2,400, which has resulted in Kelly recently winning the Derbyshire Young Achievers Award for 2012.